everyone, this is Veronica and I'm here to share with you for the third try now, this journal I've made. This is the cover. <laughs> um, it has some really pretty fuzzy green yarn on it. It has some really pretty blue hand dyed. binding. It has a fabric spine. Um, and it has this really fun green pom-pom trim on the side. Now this cover page, or this page here, was actually my inspiration for the whole color scheme. So it's lime greens, blues, and pinks throughout. Um, we have some coffee stained paper. Here is some um, yeah, hand dyed paper. And it has a bit of a sparkle to it. Not sure if you can even see that. Um, here's some more coffee stained paper. Put this in scrap paper. Here is um, a junk mail envelope. Some more of that hand dyed paper. Um, this is actually from a collection of, of really small. Um, books from the masters and this one was just just funky enough that I thought it would kind of fit in here um there's tags in here this one is actually a parts tag from a company Wyatt and this whole thing is just a few onto the back of a envelope flip. More coffee-dyed paper. This is from a vintage children's storybook. Some more hand-dyed paper. And this paper was actually dyed with tissue paper. I had gone to Goodwill and I had gotten a bag of this miscellaneous stuff and inside of it was um, all of these squares of tissue paper. And so I thought I could just use it to dye paper and it looks awesome. Um, this is a paint chip that I have just collaged on the back with all the leftover um, cutoffs from you know cutting the paper down to size. Um, this was just a cut off page so I pinned it into a long skinny tag and I again I collaged it. Here is some more coffee dyed paper. Here's just a fun little um, page. Here is this. It's just a little pocket. It's, um, a project life card that I just, you know, glued in the U shape. With it, um, so cute. And a little tag. These in, um, yeah. yeah. Also in that bag of just random stuff. Here is some more hand-dyed paper. Here's the other side of that vintage book. If you continue to yell, you're going to get into trouble. Naomi Jean Tucker, sit down. Sorry, my children. Um, I just turned this into a flip. Again, this was just um, an off cut. So I used my envelope cutting board from We Are Memory Keepers and I turned it into a file folder. Um, I put this little thing here to help weigh it down and it works perfect. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, I used set pieces and cutoffs and stuff to create this little tuck spot. Again, just collage on the back. Here is that envelope. Again, just collage tag. And I like to cut the sides of the envelopes because, I mean, that's just almost stinking impossible to be able to put it in and out whenever it's this close to the spine. So I usually cut the side or I cut the top. 
Um, this is just on there with a little bit of washi tape. Just a cute little flip. Um, this is the other side of that. Of the master Miro Miro. Some more hand dyed paper. The other envelope. Coffee stain paper. Some colorful hand dyed paper. Coffee paper. And my inspiration page. And that is the first signature. Here we are. The second signature. This is just a little flip. This is um, a tea bag. This is some um, retro wallpaper. Some vintage wallpaper I have in a, I got in a sample book. Um, ledger paper. And these are just offsets. This is packing paper. And it's just stapled on there. Some more hand dyed paper that has a bit of a sparkle to it. Some more of that uh, kiss paper. Paper. <laughs> Junk mail envelope. With just a little pink sample in there that, again, I just collaged with the off that scraps in. Um, a hem. This is a flip. And there's this. And I have embossed on here and used distressed oxides and i also used um the distress spray stain that's what the scene you see is distress spray stain um but the back is perfectly you can um journal right on the back what I consider a half page or a flip. This is a full page. Whenever I say a full page, um, I'm the full width, length, whatever of my signature is considered a full page to me. This would be considered a partial page, a half page. Here's some grid paper that I um, dyed the edges. I kept it in the book because all of this came in like a composition book. And so what I did is whenever um, I held the book together and I just dyed around the, the edges. Some more of that awesome paper. This is from a book of phrases and um, phases and phrases it was called. And it just has a whole bunch of little sayings. Um, this is again another project life card and I just turned it into a skinny pocket on some dictionary page. Um, this is just another book page and again, you know, paint chip. And this is a Hello oh, My Name Is sticker, which I think is just kind of fun to put in here. Some more hand dyed paper. Um, and this one is in here down completely. It's a project life card. And the other side of that phrases. Some more of that cool paper. Some more of that hand dyed grid paper. Partial page. Full page. Partial page. <laughs> um, this is made using distress oxides and then it's just going on the back. I tend to only decorate one side of the tag and I use the other side and I leave the other side blank for journaling. No. Um, this is just folded in half. Well, not half, that's the words. <clears throat> Some more of that. that awesome paper, hand dyed paper. Some cool pattern paper. Oh, look at this. That's so pretty. This is made using ten Oliver sprays, or spritz, whatever, ten Oliver watercolor colors, and um, yeah, they're just awesome. And here's this. Another part of that children's vintage children's book. Another tuck and tag spot. And this is a stamp from oh, Lawn Fawn, that cutesy little thing. Color My World. It's a bit, you know, a bit of a colorful journal. And here's a decoupage napkin on some, you know, just some old book page. 
page. This is from a cookbook that is just jello. Um, it only uses jello as the main ingredient. It's actually pretty interesting reading back some of the, um, yeah, the old recipes. This is a double pocket, and this is actually an airline tag, luggage tag. I just plugged in here. A project life card. hand dyed paper. Um, this is from a vintage calendar and it was called birthdays and it has every month and every day and every month and it has a little saying about that person whose birthday is here. This is January 7th. Signature. Here it is. And this lady had written down um, everyone's you know, the name of the person whose birthday that is. Some more of my hand dyed paper. Another little flip. Another file folder made using my um, envelope pitch board. Entrees and relishes. Oh, relishes made using Jello. This Jello cheese loaf, chicken mousse, corned beef loaf. Really, you want to put Jello in your corned beef? Anyway, <laughs> another page. Children, you're going to get into trouble if you continue with this behavior. Clayton, you need to be quiet. Naomi, get off of there and sit down. Everyone is watching a show. Sorry, real life. Um, yeah, just collage on the back. It's an off cut. Like I said, sorry guys. All the kids are home. Um, I really don't have to. No! Sorry, they're asking to turn up the TV and it's already more than loud enough. Here's a little flippy page. Here's a coffee stain page. Here's another little half page. Here is a dyed, a fun hand dyed page. Here is a um, graph page. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to try and go through this a little bit quicker because I need to go discipline my children. Um, here's a fun little flippy. It has just all sorts of off cuts and um, fun little pages that can be used. Um, last signature, and then I will go take care of my children. <laughs> Here is a coffee stain paper. Here's an envelope. Here is some more using the Ken Oliver watercolor things. This flips out. Um, just a pocket, and I just have some little ephemera pieces in here. This is an old vocabulary book. This is um, some more hand dyed paper. This is a vintage wedding card. I actually um, got a whole huge scrapbook full of them. Um, I slit the top here so you can open it up and you can journal inside. Here is an off cut. Again, it's clothed on the back with um, yeah, all the other plain paper off cuts. This is completely adhered down. Some more coffee to paper. Here is some more paper using the Ken Oliver stuff. Here is some more coffee stained paper. And here's this. It has some sparkle to it. It's really pretty. I just, I love the little splotches of color you get. Um, yep, this is just a tech spot again. 
This is the other side of the vintage wedding. Um, wedding card. And down here it says Mr. and Mrs. Clarence Hagen and Mr. and Mrs. Howard Hagen. Karen and Catherine. Um, I didn't do anything to this one, so you can split it open yourself if you want to. That one's pretty. That one's all blue. Um, again, from that vintage spelling book. More graph paper. More hand dyed spritzy paper. <laughs> Envelope. Full page and a full page. And that is it. Thank you. Bye.